All right, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is a review of the um, Bluetooth, the helmet Bluetooth headset uh, from Amazon. I paid $15 for this particular one. Uh, I don't have any complaints on it. The sound is okay. It's a little lacking on the bass side, but shit, it's going in a motorcycle helmet. Do you really need bass? Um, so I have this particular one into my Bell Qualifier helmet here. Uh, so it has a, a chin skirt on it that I bought on Amazon for like 20 bucks a couple of years back. Let me get this glove out the way here. Um, it has a transition lens that I got on a really good deal from a guy. And then you can see the inner liner on the inside. That is the uh, ProVision uh, anti-fog. Because uh, for whatever reason, as much as these uh, transitional lenses cost, they still fog up on the inside when it's a little chilly outside. Uh, but it is a Bell qualifier, so it didn't come with any... Um, it didn't come with uh, the chin skirt, so I bought the uh, the chin, uh, I bought the helmet skirt for it. So, like I said, this is the original version. Don't want to turn that on. Uh, this is what the original version looks like. This is what the upgraded version looks like. I haven't set it up in the helmet yet. I'm gonna set that up in my Fly Lux, uh, which we'll talk about in a moment here. Um. So I have the rubber band on here because when I'm wearing gloves, it's a little hard to find the power button or the pause button on music. You know, you're sitting at stoplight with your boys. Uh, you guys are talking, going back and forth, and you want to pause your music. It's cool. You can answer the phone through this, too. Um, this thing is actually really good. I'm really thoroughly impressed with as cheap as this thing was the sound quality uh, on it. Uh, I ride a 2000 R1 um, and speeds of, of triple digits, um, I can still hear the music. I can still, it, it sounds good, it sounds clear, I can still hear it. I don't have any complaints about that. My biggest gripe about this was that it is a little hard to find this particular power button as you can see. Um, when with gloves on the uh back and forward button work fine and if you just hold it for a minute that's the volume button no no gripes about that uh well maybe a few the speakers are a little bulky as you can see here the speakers are a little bulky so i set it next to uh, my current phone so as you can see it is it is a little bulky uh, and so what I did was I just peeled the uh, Velcro off. Let me uh, get that off. So I, I peeled the Velcro off, which cut down on the bulkiness a little bit. Um, and I cut holes. Let me see if I can get it. See if I can get it. Show you. Um, okay, there we go. So I cut the holes. You can see where I cut uh, the speaker pockets to make it fit a little bit better. Um, I had a Uclear unit on here uh, as well as on here and I just stuck it on there with some hot glue so it just stick a little bit better there. Um, I don't have any complaints at all. And cheers my friends, good glass of Jameson. So, all in all, it's it's good. I'm, I'm satisfied with it. If you're looking for a cheap, um, if you're looking for a cheap Bluetooth setup, it, it's it, this this will work for you. I promise you, this will work for you. Now, I did have the Uclear on there, um, and I was gonna go back to the Uclear. My speakers went out. One of my speakers, my left speaker on uh, my clue, my Uclear unit went out. It's the HBC2000 or 200, excuse me, it's HB 200. Um, and so that went out. And so uh, I hated having the music just in one ear. It was, it would it bother, bother the hell out of me. So I'm, I'm also in the market for a new helmet. I'm looking at the shark helmets. 
um they're pretty dope so i'm probably going to get one of those and then when i get it i'll do a review on that as well so with this i've already linked it to my phone here so it's already linked to the phone and you can hear it so that is what that's the dj quick that's dj quick quick's groove playing um so, so I don't know if you can hear that through the video, um, but it, it sounds decent, you know, it, and I put it up to my ears. It actually has more bass than the current one that I have in my helmet now. So let's pause that. So I'm, I'm getting ready to set this up in my helmet. And when I was looking at this, and when I was looking for just a cheap replacement, a cheap temporary replacement, I saw some of those uh, like Chinese knockoff ones or whatever that you can find on Amazon or eBay for like 40 or 50 bucks. I didn't necessarily want one of those because I was reading the reviews on them and they weren't real well. Um, and I decided to... You know, I, I saw this. I was like, oh, well, let me check it out. So I read a couple of reviews on it. All the reviews said they were good. Um, and I went to YouTube <clears throat> to uh, try and find some reviews on it and the unboxings, anything out there. Um, and the only thing that I could really find was uh, like reviews from India. And that just didn't help me very much. But nonetheless, I still decided to get it anyway. Figured, shit, it's 15 bucks. If it's crappy, I'll send it back, get some Amazon credit, put that 15 bucks towards something else there. So I decided to get it. I got it. I'm satisfied with it. I am truly, truly satisfied. This is nice because you can play the music from here. You can skip the song. Skip the song here. So... I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Um, when I set it up, I'm going riding uh, probably tomorrow. I'll be riding. It's night. I just got off work. Um, so I'll probably be going. I'll probably ride to work tomorrow to see how see how it works out here. So anyway, I'm going to be putting it in my, in my Bell Lux. It's a little heavy. I got this helmet. The helmet is a little bit heavy. I mean, I, I really like the helmet though. I like the graphic on it. I like the matte graphic. Um, I put the decal on the back right here because it had a snake on it and I'm not really into snakes. Um, besides, you got to put on a full armor guy, you know. So this helmet has a lot of vents in it. I also took off the nose guard because it, it just bothered me. It, it, it just wasn't comfortable for me and then it would push wind into my eyes and... I don't I don't like riding with watery eyes if I want to have my, my shield up. And so this also has the uh, drop down sun visor, um, which is nice. Um, I wear prescription glasses and I wear prescription sunglasses as well. But then when I have my contacts in, I also have sunglasses on. But still, I still use that anyway. Gives me kind of a double protection here. So this is the box that the latest one came in. Um, and it is branded as a 4.1 Bluetooth versus the 4.0 Bluetooth. I don't really know what the difference is. Don't really think I care either. See, you can see it right there. Let me see if I can. There you go. See the 4.1 frequencies, all that good jazz. Hey, if you want a good solid bluetooth for a cheap price that doesn't have the things hanging off the side of your helmet yo get this and i i don't know if i'm gonna go back to my uclear i i doubt that i will when i get that um when i get that shark helmet if i decide if that's the helmet that i decide to get uh i don't know if i, I if if i will do that so i kind of like not having it I, on my helmet and no one knows that I have this in my helmet and so I can get to work take my helmet off lock it to my bike and not have to 
uh, take the side unit off and throw it in my trunk of the bike or, or throw it in my pocket or my backpack and take it with me and risk it turning on, bumbling around in there. I, I really do kind of like this. Just hit that one. But oh, one of the things about this, this one, I don't know if this one does it yet. I'll find out though. This, uh, the older version, it turns off by itself. And so if you, if you have it in your helmet and then you just walk away, um, it turns off by itself. Once you, as you know about Bluetooth, once you get from a certain distance to it, it disconnects from the Bluetooth anyway. So that's kind of nice. But I don't know after how long, but it just turns off on itself. Even we just, you know, hanging out on the bike set or whatever, uh, at the bike meetups, put the helmet on the bike, walking around, talking to homies, whatever. It still, it just turns off. Sometimes I'll be sitting there, I'll get home and I'll forget to turn it off and it will turn off by itself anyway. And so like my phone is here, I hang my helmets up in the hallway, I live in an apartment, uh, my helmets are in the hallway. It still turns off, it's in the same proximity, it's, it's, it's a nice function, it really is. Let's get this out the way. So this is that, it came with the uh, instructions here, but don't didn't really need the instruction pairing pairing was super simple i just put it on uh this will blink red and blue like you see it's blinking blue now so it'll blink red and blue um and then scan paired i renamed it because uh i have one in here and then this one it also has the same name so i just renamed them so i would know um also this one the lights went out on it. It did have blue lights on it, uh, blue and red lights in it, but they, for whatever reason, they went out. Now, like I said, the rubber band is on there because it was kind of hard to find it. Um, it was kind of hard to find it with gloves on. Uh, but overall, I'm satisfied. If you're looking for one, get it. I paid $18 for this one. I paid 15 for that other one. Good investment overall. Go ahead and get it. Also, if you're looking for a uh, like a, a donut, yo, I paid five bucks for this particular helmet. Well, this donut, it's really a seat cushion. I paid five bucks for it at Walmart. As you can see, it does all the stuff that those forty, fifty dollar ones that they have uh, do. It's inflatable. I can deflate it, push the air out of it. Set it aside, fold it up, put it in a box, do whatever I need to do with it. Um, but I, I just leave it inflated just and just set it off to the side so it's not that big a deal. So anyway, go ahead and get that. I'm going to hook this up, put everything in here. Uh, it, this also has pockets, so I may have to cut the pockets, but it's pretty deep helmet. So the, oh, over here is pretty deep. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna set it up first, see if I gotta cut it, and if I gotta cut it, then you know I just gotta cut the pocket. It's not a big deal. So once I get it all set up and go for a ride with it, uh, I will definitely report back uh, to you on it. All right.